they're seeing the progress and they want your progress. You know what I'm saying? They want that same. All right, guys. Josh back at it with another body game video. And today is an important one. Thank y'all so much for watching me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, turn on post notifications for me. You know what I'm saying? That way you'll be notified when I do post. So make sure if you have not turned post notifications, turn on post notifications. So that way you're going to be notified when I drop. You know what I'm saying? So, because I got to drop this banger basically on why friends treat you differently when you practice body game. You know what I'm saying? When you work on your body, you get stronger. You know what I'm saying? You get your body right. You will notice whether... It may be positive, it may be negative, but your friends are going to see you differently when you practice body game. What I want you guys to understand is I want you guys to pay attention to the signs of when they treat you differently. So this is what I'm going to tell you why. Basically, so why they treat you differently is you make them uncomfortable. Whether, you know, a lot of fitness guys don't really explain this, but when you do work in your body, you make people uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Friends included. You make everybody uncomfortable. This is something that I've dealt with. A lot of my guys on the comments have dealt with. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my athlete guys have dealt with. Um, it's just that when you become more selected, more chosen, it's a hard pill to swallow for your friends because they feel like you're going to change. You know what I'm saying? They feel like you're going to change, and they feel as though – you left them regardless if you told them you were going to work out you were going to start working out you're working on your fitness journey whatever like that but everybody think about it everybody says that nobody's serious so the fact that you're taking it seriously and you're actually changing their body and they can see the transformation before their eyes they're gonna feel away bro they're gonna feel like you left them you're changing and you are you know what i'm saying you are evolving but the thing that plays with a lot of people's mental and psyche is that they can see the progress they can physically see the progress they can see the change before their eyes, and it bothers them. You know what I'm saying? It bothers them in the sense of, like, it makes an urgency of, you know, they're missing out. Because it's almost as if you're working out by yourself. Yes, it takes a lot of work, you know what I'm saying, a lot of discipline. But from a person who's not working out, regardless if they are attracted, they have a lot of money, they have all this, boom, whatever, good for them, good personality. It's the fact that you're working out, you're doing something that's for you specifically, and they may think now their life will probably be better. I definitely call that. Their life will probably be better if they worked out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're leading by a good example, but at the same time, the further they take action, the further they don't take any action, the further you will be ahead of them. You know what I'm saying? Your body will look better just because you put in the work, you put in the hours, you put in the months, you put in the years or whatever like that. And it's just almost like, well, if I start now, I feel like I'm falling behind. It's almost like you're, you're, Set a good example, but they feel like they can't keep up. That goes for all friends, you know what I'm saying? They, and they feel like, you know what I'm saying, your thought processes will change and everything like that. Another thing is, when you're practicing body game, you're going into the gym and everything like that, is you change the friendship dynamic. Let me let you guys know this, whether if you want to admit this or not admit this. Friends have a, like a group leader in a sense. Whatever that person says that's what the plans are. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has that type of friend group. You know what I'm saying? You really have to look and analyze just how the dynamics have been working in your friendship group. But with every friendship group, you have that. You change, you go against the group's, the group leader's thought process, especially if you have a big friend group, like you say you're friends with a lot of people. It's, it's, it's almost as if you guys are going head to head now because you will have people who subconsciously will be like, okay, well, yeah, I do want to work out. I see that, you know, for example, you're working out and this is something I always want to do. So instead of going out now, somebody may feel like, hey, I want to get my body right. I want to get fit. You know what I'm saying? I want to get jacked. A lot of people watch videos on it, but it's just like you kind of go head to head with the group leader. So this can kind of cause friction in the friend group because then you will have some people who support you, some people who don't, and they have to pick a side. The leader may turn people against you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times... When you have a big friend group, a lot of people don't like change. A lot of people don't like change and they don't want to feel as though they have to pick and choose their friends. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they feel like they had control over their group. So when you work on your body, you know what I'm saying? You get that banging body to post those nice gym pictures. You know what I'm saying? You meet people. You know what I'm saying? You might get in a new relationship or whatever like that. You change everybody's thought process on how they see working out or how they see you or how they see your friendship group or how they feel about what they do now. Like where they're at now, where they hang out at, everything like that. And they start to 
also question themselves if they're not secure. They start questioning their own weight class. Like, am I overweight? Am I fat? Do I need to lose weight? Do I need to get muscular? You know what I'm saying? It's like people start to change as well. You know what I'm saying? When people see change, that's the biggest way to influence somebody is change. Like, if you are changing yourself and you are working yourself, you don't have to scream it out. And that's why I tell you guys that body game is silent, but you don't have to say, hey, guys, I'm working out. If you just silently back away and people start to see progress, you will notice you won't have to ask people to go work out with you. They'll kind of just invite themselves or they'll come with you or they'll secretly go with you or they'll kind of learn from you or, you know, it, everything like that. It's like people are watching you a lot harder than what you think. So you don't really have to advocate for going to the, to the gym. You don't have to advocate for eating right. But you will notice that you will have a stronger influence because people want to better themselves. Whether they do it or not or whether they have the energy or have the time to do it, mentally they know that this is the right thing to do so it's like when you're influencing somebody like that it's a positive way but body game is as i tell you guys is silent you don't have to go cheerleading around tell people your routine tell people your workouts tell people this it's like people see you you know what I'm saying? they love you they see you and you know people are also competitive and they also covet what you have a lot of people do that and they probably want what you have or they're seeing the progress and they want your progress. You know what I'm saying? They want that same transformation in their life. And I shall tell you, change is the biggest way to influence somebody. You know what I'm saying? So definitely keep an eye on that. Another thing is your lifestyle will start to be more attractive. So when I say that is so when you're working on your body specifically, you'll notice like a lot of the guys, you know, me included, or a lot of the gym bros or a lot of the gym girls, our routine gets praised. Like you will notice like your lifestyle, your routine in the gym community is heavily sought after. Like the gym vlogs, the gym people like showing you their workouts and what they eat. People, they may not interact with the content or they may not like the content, but they watch so closely because your gym routine, your morning routine, your night routine, your Pilates routine, your lacrosse routine, your, you know what I'm saying? People are trying to learn how to better themselves, but in a private manner, everybody is in factually with that and that's what i'm saying your lifestyle people will start to want that people will start to wonder how long do you run you know what i'm saying when you do run how long do you run what workouts do you do your lifestyle then becomes almost a show especially for your friends it's like people start to understand it's like hey that is motivating you you know what I'm saying? you're motivating people to where it's like i kind of want to do that you'll notice like your friends will kind of be like i'm interested in that i i kind of want to do that. how do you do and they'll have so many questions and that's what I want you guys to understand is that they may not tell you that they're interested in what you're doing because it's just that interesting to a lot of people or people are that curious on how you transformed your body so well. You know what I mean? So the more successful you are in the gym, the more they'll be interested in your lifestyle. Like then after that, after they figure out your lifestyle or after they're curious about that, they then translate that to who is looking for you now. You know what I'm saying? For practicing body gaming, they're like, Okay, who's checking for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's attracted to you? Who's liking your pictures? Who does my girlfriend like you now? Like, people then start questioning <laughs> their own relationships with people, or they start to figure out like the hierarchy of like, okay, so who who's the who's the most fit now? Who's the most attractive? Like, people will go through that, and that's where sometimes your circle can then become a cage because they don't want you to reach past a certain threshold. So you have to watch out for that because. You know, your friends can really hold you back. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're practicing body game, your friends can sabotage you just from the sense of like, they don't want you to become a group leader. They don't want you to be the person to call the shots, especially if the other person has been doing it for months, years, and that's just how things are going. When you change that dynamic, it's going to be friction. It's going to be friction. Trust, believe. You guys need to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves to work out. Everybody loves going to the gym, but let you start transforming let your body start being magazine photo shoot ready body it changes a little bit because then you know what i'm saying you may have picked up a couple pounds but once you lose that and you are already attractive you are already a perfect personality you are already getting attention oh that's uh 10x that so just understand that understand your friends will act differently towards you it's normal and i definitely do more videos about this because you know, a lot of you guys are social. A lot of you guys have like hundreds of thousands of followers, thousands of followers, a lot of influence. A lot of people watch your story. A lot of people like what you do. But you adding body game to what you already have in your life is going to 10x a lot of either support 
or a lot of envy. So I want you guys to understand that. And I want you guys to like the video, uh, comment if you have any questions down below. Tell me if you ever experienced this and then, uh, you know, subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications so that way you are notified when I'm dropping. But, yeah, that's it, man. Just keep your eyes peeled because nobody talk about this, but this is something that is bound to happen to you in your relationships in the day-to-day -day life. So that's the end of the video. I'm out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. <laughs>